This can only mean one thing. The Wild Deodorant Winter Scents. Just got this in the post. It's time for us to sit down again together and explore the range with an unsponsored, unfiltered, honest and very, very, very descriptive video as you are all used to if you are familiar with this channel. Sit back, relax and let me take you through the whole range. I believe, fingers crossed, these are gonna be fragrances that not only I love, but we all love together. Let's get this opened and see what the fuss is all about. To find out more about Wild products and my journey with them from the beginning when I first tried it, not knowing what natural deodorant is gonna be like to now current day, you'll have to check out my playlist, which will show at the end of this video. There's a lot there to go through if you really wanna geek out on this topic. As with always, I'm gonna show you guys first. There is a lot here. If I need to pause for a little bit, thankfully with the edit, it's gonna be less obvious, but I've had a wisdom tooth out, which I know is usually something that you would get. I would have liked to have done that many years ago, uh, but you know what, when it rains, it pours, and when it's time to change some things, it's time to change everything. This is the first time I've done a video since, so it is a little sore. So we're gonna see how this goes. Bear with me. And also any tips for wisdom teeth recovery, put a comment down below, I would really, really appreciate it. And also just let me know what you think of everything I'm about to talk about. Let's start with the Wild Winter Edition hardware, the cases. This is the Emma Bridgewater shower gel case in the, the shiny enameled case with matte navy stars. I can't pretend I didn't know this was the range. To try and hide away from that on social media was impossible. However, I promise you, I've not seen anything about the notes. That was something I tried so hard. So I only saw like a gaze of this, um, but that was it. So this is beautiful. What do you guys think of this one? I'm loving the fact that Emma Bridgewater have done so much with Wild. And as a solo unsponsored content creator, I would not be doing my due diligence without mentioning that I'm also an ambassador for Emma Bridgewater quite a while now and I absolutely adore the brand. So if you do want to shop through Emma Bridge Water, as you usually would perhaps, or for gifting, uh, it costs you nothing, but it helps to support this channel by doing so. So if you click down below in the description, there'll be a link to go direct to Emma Bridge Water. Okay, let's look at the lip balm case. It's a glossy navy, the matte navy stars on the glossy beige case. And it's got that icy blue Very ASMR, very festive. What do you guys think of this design? It's quite hard to strike the perfect balance for like Christmas. I guess this is quite nice because it's not, you could still keep it all year round. Right. This is the deodorant case with Quite an when the light shines through it, it's quite electric. It's like a cobalt blue. So this is much more vivid than the other blue on the decal, but it goes really nicely together. Again, it's got that really shiny, glossy, kind of enameled texture to the case, which is great, especially for hard wearing. I do prefer these to the matted ones personally. And then it's got the matte decals on it. Really pretty. So I'm gonna ask all of you Wild fans who have watched many of these videos and you know who you are, I want you to pause this video here and just give a verdict of what you think out of 10 this Christmas collection is. I like it, I would say like an eight. Um, I like navy, I think it's really good because it's very, pleases everybody. I would have really loved, you know, deep reds or deep greens. Personally, that's just the colors that I like a hell of a lot. Um, but I think these are a really nice collection and to be honest, you can't go wrong with it. We're going to start with the shower gel refill. I have no idea what fragrance this will be in. So let's open this together. Sugar Plum Fairy with organic aloe vera and probiotics for smooth, silky smooth skin. Or smooth and silky skin. Uh, for silky smooth skin with a Megan The Stallion little reference. Uh. <laughs> also, I've noticed that these, I don't know if I'm the only one, but th these have changed. They'll still be um, biodegradable and compostable, but these have changed. Wow. Okay, I am getting immediately pear, like frosted pear. 
I like pear drops, those hard boiled sweets. Like a really, really, really crisp, icy fresh cranberry. And just like a beautiful berry soap smell. I'm really keen to see what on earth is in this. And I kind of already want to see now. Yeah, I'm gonna learn now. That's such a unique scent that I kind of want to know already what's <laughs> what's in it. And I'm just gonna go on that specifically, so then I know I'm not gonna see anything else. I'm not gonna block the tree. This bit I can block. Uh, da da da, sugar plum fairy. Sparkly and juicy, sweet and sparkly. And this is packed with seasonal fruit. Syrupy berries infused with notes of plum, cassis, and cedar wood. Okay, I stand corrected. So it's not cranberry, it's cassis, but I was getting that really tart, crisp, metallic note. It's a very nutcracker reference, and my mouth, because it is aching quite a bit now, I feel like I'm one of those nutcrackers, like I'm gonna ache after this, but this is worth it. This is a beautiful, sugary, rich, when I say rich, it's not like warming and gourmand and smoky, absolutely not. It's like light, fresh, foresty, really unique. I had no idea what to expect. The best way of describing it is as they did. They said syrupy. It smells thick in a fragrance. There's no hollowness to this at all. It's literally that. It is cool toned, it is fresh, it's metallic because it's not cozy and warm. It's zingy, energizing, fun. This is a fun fragrance. Pretty, festive, it doesn't take itself too seriously, nor should the person buying it, or reviewing it, <laughs> or watching it and commenting, okay? Just saying. Next. I told you I loved Emma Bridgewater. And actually, these always have a message on it. Love is the alive self, if you needed to hear that. Uh, then I did the lip balm. So this is the plum and frosted pear. Is that the same one as this? No, sugar plum fairy. Different. Okay. Oh wow. This is nice. Um, I forget the name of it, but it reminds me so much of the one that was released beforehand in autumn. So this for me is nothing to write home about. This is nice. It's zingy, it's fun, great for gifting. I really, really, really am enjoying the system of the lip balms. Uh, and this will have to be a future video because there's some thoughts I've had with this that I need to just sit down and put into a video. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel to tune in. And I'm not um, cliffhangering anybody. These are great, but what I will say is I do prefer the original formula because of certain reasons, and that is purely because of my own preference. So these ones, uh, if you want to see a deep dive in the lip balm videos, that will be down below in the description. I did one which is when they first launched, which was the whole range, and then I did one um, in the like autumn Halloween one, which shows that one. If you want to geek out on the lip balms, I would advise you to go check those out, uh, just to be conscious of the time here. But yeah, nice! Good for gifting, it's not my favorite. And the reason for that, in a season when there is so much eating and drinking and coffees, much like it all the time, <laughs> but I don't really love heavily fragranced lip products. But if you do, or you want something fun and a bit novelty, this would be great. And again, I like the formulas, I like their uh, ingredients lists, and I love the fact that it is fully recyclable and also you keep the case forever. So really good system, but not the best fragrance on it. It's a tough gig because I don't like that. I hope that makes sense. So let's have a look at the first deodorant refill. So this is the wild deodorant refill in Sugar Plum Fairy. I've been decorating the house while I've been recovering from my dental work. So if you can spot really knackered nails and maybe some paint splodges, that's why subtle. The lip balm smells stronger than the deodorant. But again, it, it doesn't matter so much about the strength. It's really just to try and help you guys 
and also just have fun myself and it's all almost just investigatory to look into like what this smells like and I'm excited. There is three in total. This is very subtle and this is going to be hard because this is quite hard to pick out what this is. Get like a strawberry blueberry fragrance similar to the shower gel in sugar plum. This has much more of a crisp cooling um, lighter tone to it as opposed to warm rich woody gourmand that scale this reminds me a lot of if you are a fan of wild and you've used their one that had elderflower in if you use their one from last year which was the prosecco fizz one if i got that right you will love that that's like this year's version of that it's fun it smells like slow gin this smells like a gin and tonic flavored gin and tonic that's the best way of describing it. It's got the fizzy of the tonic. It's got the rich kind of sugary, syrupy, berry fragrance of the uh, gin liqueur. That's how I would sum it up. Okay, so I like that, uh, but not my favorite. But this isn't just about which ones I like. It's about just talking about them. Next, Arctic Ice Queen. Do you see what I did there? By the way, before I continue, some exciting news about this channel. Just collaborated with ShopMy, which is now the host of my recommendations, my store. This is a place that I can put all of the recommendations from stores worldwide, from loads of retailers, loads of online stores, loads of retail stores of what are my favorites. I've created collections of products that I would recommend. And not just that, I don't take the easy route. I even put in exactly why I like it, what my thoughts are, any discount codes, the links for different countries and really excitingly I've also got a space now where I can offer online consultations. I'm starting by focusing this on skincare tech devices which is something that I'm known for and I've worked in the industry for many 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 years on this from television, PR, marketing, the lot. Uh, this is now a space that I will allocate a small amount of slots per month that I'm able to uh, really go through with yourself what your skincare needs are in terms of a device, which one would help you and it can save you a huge amount of money in the long run by having someone who's worked in the industry can really sit down and look at your needs individually. There is a cost to that, but trust me, that will be worth it. So all of that information will be down below. Thank you for that uh, little self-sponsor plugin. Right, Arctic Ice Queen. Oh, yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> oh, I don't like this one. I really don't like mint when it comes to skincare and I really don't like mint unless it's like gum or toothpaste or drinking mint or in food but not like chocolate and mint. I know a huge amount of people around the world love things like uh, what they call like peppermint canes even like peppermint like hot chocolates peppermint coffees this is like sporty fresh cooling crisp Icy, that is the most connected name to a scent I've ever seen on Wild. This completely describes it. It is Arctic Ice Queen, Ice King, Arctic Ice Jester, the whole royal family. This is for anybody who just loves mint. My reaction is because this is just something so like I, I just would never, <laughs> I would never use ever. However, for someone who just wants something sporty, icy, fresh, exhilarating, pick me up, and also like a mint shower gel. And the final fragrance, the Enchanted Forest. Ooh. Anyone who has ever used this bubble bath, I think it's Adedas, I'm not saying that, Bad Badadas. I know that my mum loved this and she said that was kind of like a, it was really big in the 80s or 90s. So it almost has a slight frankincense note to it. Definitely rich. This smells like if someone was wearing, this is the weirdest description I think I've made to date. And I don't do these just to be like, oh, ooh, how unique, like um, like paint companies when it's like elephants whisper. Like, I don't know what that smells like. This whole reason of doing these videos is to try and make it more understandable or like link it to other products because we can't smell these in the store. But this almost smells like velvet. <laughs> like if someone, I can't describe that. This is one of the most complex fragrances I've smelt since the Rainforest Oasis. Really like that. 
it's really complex, it's earthy, it's warming. We have to see what this one smells like. Clean and woody with oodles of wintry freshness packed with pine, vetiver and mandarin. Yeah, the citrusy I really get. Reminds me of that sort of um, like acorny hazelnut, like on that shower gel they have like that little nut warmer thing or something like, I don't know what it's called, but it's that sort of really earth, really, really nice. Incredibly unisex, smells like a spa, bath, aromatherapy, heady, subtle but complex. Wait, like when we rank it in terms of complexity, this is the most unique and complex. Then it's this one. A richness, a sugariness, a berry, a sweetness. Like I said, it's like a gin and tonic. Slow gin, the liquor with the fizzy, crisper, lighter notes of the tonic. And then Arctic Ice Queen is the least complex because it literally is what it says it is just like ice mint fresh so if you love a mint shower gel if you love very 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 minimalist um types of fragrances when it comes to deodorants because again deodorant is like a functional thing so there's nothing wrong with that however when i look at these products and i'm gonna look at investing more uh, creators discount codes it helps a huge amount mine Thankfully offers one of the highest, which is 20%. I believe it is just the highest, but I'll um, cover myself there in case that's not the case. I pushed, I pushed so hard for that voucher code to make sure it works because it's not been an easy journey. So all of you watching from day one, you know exactly the struggles and we got there in the end. With an empty box, the final verdict on the hardware, the cases, I absolutely love this design. I think it's beautiful. It would really go with any style bathroom. It's very, very unisex. The colors are really simple. It doesn't scream Christmas. It screams like winter, holiday, celestial with the stars. It's a really lovely color. I love the texture of it with the more enameled, glossy look. Personally, I would have loved something more uh, red or green, but I think the navy is really nice. The fragrances, if you want to look at last year's lineup with the ones that I reviewed, fragrance is so subjective. My the things that make my heart sing and the things that bring me comfort and joy, Christmas reference, is warm gingerbread, cinnamon, mulled wine, frankincense, myrrh, tonka, oud, amber, all those rich sort of Christmassy, beautiful foodie scents I am obsessed with. So it is natural that someone with that like MO when they smell these ones are gonna be a little like, oh, I was waiting for that. So. It's a little disappointing personally, but that's what these videos are all about. It's about my honest opinion. It's about starting a conversation with all of you with what your thoughts are for these. Out of any one that I would recommend if you've really followed my sense and you agree with all of it, it could be rare, but we could have really similar taste. I would say this is my, this is, will be the one that I would use. Sugar Plum Fairy and the Enchanted Forest are ones that I would actually use myself. This is getting gifted, <laughs> uh, which is a nice thing. This is what the seasons are all about, you know. I will see you. I can't believe I'm wrapping this up. This literally is the final few videos of this year. There is so much this year has held and done and what a year. And I can only imagine because this is the human condition, it has been the exact same for yourself. So through the screen right now, I hope you have had um, as good of a year as possible and I hope you have a beautiful end to it, whatever you're doing. I really appreciate all of you watching. I'm excited to hear all of your feedback down in the comments down below. I was excited to share the news with my new Shop My uh, link, which will be down below. It has all of my recommendations all organized. I love how clean it looks. So again, bear that in mind if you're ever shopping online or you would like to see uh, what I would recommend and why. For loads of things, we're talking like the lights behind here, air purifiers, skincare, LED face masks, toothbrushes. We go through a lot. I'm uh, as much of a consumer as I am into marketing and the industry. So I really, really am excited to announce that that is now live and you can go and check and shop through that directly. Yeah, I wonder when the next collection will be. I'm January baby, so I don't know if there will be one before my birthday. Uh, I'm trying to remember last year when the new fragrances came out, but 
This is going to be a big launch for them. I hope so many of you love these fragrances and I'll be excited to see um, what you all think of it. And as mentioned, do use the code still in luck and share it with anyone else that you think would enjoy Wild to save further on that. And I will see you in the next video. Merry Christmas. I've just got goosebumps saying that. This is full stop my favorite time of the year. Um, so yeah, this is a lot of like energy in this video and I absolutely love it. To make up for the lack of no cinnamon and like mulled wine, I'm gonna go downstairs and just like smell that. <laughs> Bye.